वेलकम टू द फोकस सीरीज आई एम डॉक्टर गोपाल कृष्ण जालवाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन एनस्थीशिया डिपार्टमेंट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द आई वी सी असेसमेंट एंड वाट आर द इट्स क्लिनिकल इम्प्लीकेशंस दिस वीडियो इंक्लूड्स एनाटमी ऑफ द आई वी सी फिजियोलॉजी एंड सोनो एनाटमी एंड टेक्निक ऑफ द आई वी सी असेसमेंट एंड द क्लिनिकल इम्प्लीकेशंस IVC is the largest vein of the body and it returns blood from the body to right atrium and IVC is formed by convergence of iliac veins it is a retroperitoneal structure and exists on the right side of the aorta normal size is 1.5 to 2.5 cm there is a variation in IVC diameter at the time of inspiration and expiration if patient is spontaneously breathing then ivc expands with expiration and narrows with inspiration and if patient is on mechanical ventilation then it narrows with expiration and expand with inspiration there are two type of formula we use for the uh, ivc collapsibility so first one is if patient is a spontaneously breathing then we calculate the ivc collapsibility index and if patient is on a mechanical ventilation then we have to calculate the ivc distensibility index scanning technique first is gyphoid uh, view so in this view you have to place the low frequency curvilinear probe just below the gyphoid process and what you will visualize vertebral body and a pulsating structure over that is aorta and just along with aorta you will see ivc as you can see in this picture after getting the cross sectional view of the ivc and aorta then uh, you have to rotate the probe uh, keeping the ivc into the view and orientation marker should be cranially and you will see the longitudinal view of the ivc then uh, apply the doppler and what you will see uh, there is a non pulsatile wave form it confirms that it is a ivc and then to see the aorta you have to slide your probe slightly on the left side and you will see a hypericoic line that is spine and a aorta a pulsating structure just over it apply the doppler and you can see a pulsatile wave form this confirms the this is a rota not an ivc follow the same steps perform with the low frequency curvilinear probe this is the aorta and this is the ivc and it is a vertebral body now i am going to rotate the face direct probe keeping the orientation marker cranially for the anterior mid axillary view you have to place the low frequency curvilinear probe in a anterior or mid axillary line at the level of the eighth intercostal space then you will see uh, two anechoic structure one will be pulsatile that is aorta and another one that is compressible that is the ivc
so ivc measurement should be taken uh, just 2 to 3 cm away from the right atrial junction and uh, apply the m mode and then uh, freeze the picture and uh, take measurement at the time of inspiration and expiration here you can see we are these measurement are uh, in a ventilating patient so at the time of inspiration diameter will be more and and type and the time of expiration time ivc will be collapse so and now calculate the distensibility and collapsibility index patient is on mechanical ventilation then we calculate the distensibility index and if patient is spontaneously breathing then we calculate the collapsibility index cut off value for the distensibility index is 18% and for the collapsibility index is 50% if value comes more than that then it is considered that patient is fluid responsive few studies have shown correlation between the ivc and cvp cv so if there is a ivc maximum diameter is less than 1.5 and collapsibility index is 100% then it correlates with cvp reading between 0 to 5 mm hg and if diameter is more than 2.5 and no collapsibility then it correlates with the cvp more than 20 mm hg so in the pulmonary embolism along with the rirv dilatation one of the finding is known collapsibility of ivc and ivc diameter will be more than 2 cm so it also raised the suspicions of pulmonary embolism.